This is Marketplace from APM. I'm Kai Rizdahl. There is another slightly more obscure but equally important regulatory appointment in the news to tell you about. Naomi Rao has been confirmed by the Senate to head up the Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs, a key job in this deregulatory presidency. Marketplace's Jed Kim has that one. When federal agencies put together major new regulations, they run cost-benefit analyses. The Office of Information and Regulatory Affairs, or OIRA, essentially checks their math. Philip Wallach is with the Brookings Institution. He says the office has a big task ahead of it, navigating an executive order signed by President Trump that says for every new regulation, agencies have to scrap two old ones. There's a lot of very hard questions to answer in terms of how that system is going to work and whether it's going to effectively just amount to a regulatory moratorium where where they're just not putting out new rules. Naomi Rao teaches law at George Mason University. One of the areas she focuses on is constitutional law. She once clerked for Clarence Thomas. Kent Lasman is president of the Competitive Enterprise Institute. He's excited at the prospect of Rao at the helm of OIRA. The core of her work and her career and her scholarship has been on political accountability. And that's something that I think is horribly missing today in our regulatory processes. Robert Weissman is president of Public Citizen, a progressive public interest advocacy group. He's worried. That this will be the agency that really drives forward Trump's anti-regulatory zeal, uh, which means in practice making America less safe, less healthy, and more open to corporate crime and abuse. With all the attention on regulations, the once-obscure OIRA is set to take center stage. I'm Jed Kim for Marketplace.